and welcome to the channel Ginger Ninja's Movie Reviews. I am the Ginger Ninja and these are my movie reviews. If you're new to the channel, thank you very much for tuning in, stopping by and checking it out. You've come into good time because we're actually just wrapping up Monster Mayhem. Uh, for my returning viewers, thank you very much for sticking with me as we go through Monster Mayhem. Um, and I've chosen the final one to be a bit of a, it's a bit divisive in this film. Let's have a look and see what we're dealing with here. So for the final movie, I've actually chosen The Thing, but not the John Carpenter classic, the prequel from 2011. Uh, now, this was directed by Matthias Van Hygen. Hopefully I'm pronouncing that right. Um, and it does star Mary Elizabeth Winstead, Joel Edgerton, Ulrich Thompson, Eric Christian Olsen, Christopher Highview, and many more. Hopefully I pronounced a few of those names correctly. If not, I do apologize. Um, now, we'll be discussing plot specifics and spoilers for this film. However, it is a prequel. So you kind of really know what you're in for. You know, the original came out in the 80s and is a remake of another film and it's based on a story who goes there. You know, it's the story is well known. Now, this is a prequel to John Carpenter's classic, The Thing. This leads straight into it. Um, at a Norwegian Antarctic research station where an alien spacecraft has been found buried in the ice for thousands of years, as well as the thing that occupied the craft. So we get to see where everything came from. We get to see where the thing originated somewhat from. Not its original place, but where it came from on Earth. Um, now we did get a look of that in the original, in, in the thing, don't get me wrong, but this delves more into it. Um, you actually see inside the spaceship and things like that. But to me, I really don't feel like this film was needed. Did we need a prequel to John Carpenter's movie? I don't feel we did. I felt they set it up rather nicely in that film. You know, didn't need to see everything that came before it. A little bit of mystery was good. Now, that's not to say that this is a bad movie. Like, in all honesty, I just don't feel like we needed this movie. It's a good movie though, so <laughs> let's get into the cast. So the cast do a really good job. They're led by the incredible Mary Elizabeth Winstead, and I have never seen her do anything that I have not enjoyed. Um, the, the rest of the cast do a really good job, particularly the paranoia and tension that this movie is supposed to bring out. Like... You have an alien creature that can replicate and duplicate anything it, it touches or absorbs. You know, there's that level of paranoia and tension which needs to be palpable. Now, it does pale in comparison to John Carpenter's original, but it's still there. You can still feel it. And it is done very well. The cast definitely bring that out. The directing is fine. There are no issues with that. You can see, like, some of the... Um, art like Antarctic snowscapes and things like that. It looks really nice. There's good camera work in it. You know, cinematography, it's all just fine. The writing. Okay, so this is a bit of a tough one because this is a prequel. So as for the ending, we know where it's going to go. And it ties in perfectly. They did a lot with this film, which ties in perfectly with the original. And I will touch on that in a moment with the effects because I want to include set design as well. It's, the characters are well written, they're believable, they, you know, the Norwegian team there seem to be, they know each other, they've been there for some time, they, they get along well, there's a scene where they're having a drink, having a laugh, they're playing guitar, singing, you know, it's a very friendly environment and they play it really well, but then, bang, it changes and the shit hits the fan, they're on, so really good job. Uh, the writing as well, just with that, is really good. Like they, they develop this camaraderie, and then who do they trust? You know. Now the effects. I mentioned the effects. Now this is a CGI heavy film compared to the original, which had a lot of practical effects. They do look okay. They do look. CGI, but not terrible CGI, not forced CGI. They just look CGI. That's it. 
Um, now, the original had its practical effects done by, I believe, and I'll get corrected if I'm wrong, I think it was Ron Bottom that did the effects. Um, fantastic. The, the CGI on this is okay. It's, you know, it does the job, does what it does, and you know, it is good. But what I really want to focus on is the set design for this. They've really looked at the original and remade it scene for scene. Like, done it so well. Like, you, you could al almost imagine it is the exact same set that it was set on in the original. So it's done really well in that regards. Um, you know, the helicopter at the end, which leads into the original, or the John Carpenter original, it's just done perfectly. So there's no issues with that. It flows seamlessly. Finally, we come to rewatchability, and this is a tough one because by itself, it's an, it's an okay movie. It's not great, it's not terrible, but it is okay. However, tying it into the original the way it does just makes this movie flow smoothly. So you can do the thing and the thing back to back, the prequel and the original seamlessly. You can make a movie night of it and it would work fine. It actually would really emphasize the paranoia in the remake because you know what's coming and you never can tell who's the thing, who's not the thing. You never, never know. Um, so overall, I, I do enjoy this one. It, it's, like I said, it's an okay movie, but what I like about it is the fact that it does pay homage and ties into the original. It doesn't try and do anything that it shouldn't do. It doesn't piss on the original. It maintains that integrity of that movie. So I really do enjoy that, and it gets an extra point for that. So overall, the thing from 2011 gets... 7 out of 10. It's a really good film. And I do, like I said, I do like the way it doesn't try and steal from John Carpenter's original, which is a classic. It actually takes it and builds on it. Do I think it was necessary? No. Am I glad they did it? Yeah, I am. I do enjoy it. So there you have it. The thing from 2001. Thank you very much for watching. Now, next month will be something different, so... Stick around, we'll see. If you haven't already, please do give this video a thumbs up. Of course, subscribe to my channel for future content. Click that notification bell, you'll be notified every time I do release a new video. Now, it is usually twice a week. I do one on Monday, well, Australia, so Monday, Australia. Tuesday, I do a 2B review. And then for the rest of the week, I usually do a 60 second review. So make sure you check that out. Good little snippets, just to give you an idea of whether a movie's good or whether it's bad, in my opinion. Thank you very much for watching. Have a great day.